Okay, this video is about graphic transformation and exponential function. Example 1. Do the graph using transformation of the function f of x equal 2 raised to the x minus 3 plus 3? Okay, let's start for the basic function. In this case, y equal to the x. Exponential is increasing. Typical point are 0, 0,1, 1,2, and negative 1, 1 half, and half horizontal asymptote at y equals 0, because on the y axis. Okay, the first transformation is horizontal shift. Horizontal shift, 3 units to the right. So now you see how the first component gets x is increasing plus 3. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4,2. So at this point it's transforming 1,2, it's transforming like a 4,2. Likewise, 0, 0,1 is transforming like a 3,1. And negative 1, 1, 1 half is transforming like a 2, 1 half. And the horizontal asymptote stays the same. Okay, now vertical shift, in this case, is plus 3 again. The, in this case, any point, the second component of the second, of course, a transformation is increasing plus 3 to form the last transformation. So 2 plus 3 is 5. Now this point is 4,2, is transformed like a 4,5. This point is 3,1, is transformed like a 3,4. And this point is 2,0.5, que one half is transformed like a 2,3.5 and our new asymptote is located at y equal 3 it's a horizontal line again but y equal 3 ok now one more detail we have here a new y in a set okay, is the point 0, 0,3 Point thirteen. Now, oh, how you find that? Okay, is yes. uh, evaluate here at zero. Mm -hmm. This is two to the negative three plus three is equivalent to say three plus one over eight. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, three comma one. Let's see. Let's see in detail this part. Okay, for finding the y intercept, let me copy the equation again. 2x minus 3 plus 3. Uh, I see x equals 0. Okay, the condition for finding y intercept. Remember this statement. Okay. So says y is equal to 0 minus 3 plus 3 is equal to raised to the minus 3 plus 3 is equal 1 over 2 to the third power plus 3 is equal y equal 1 over 8 plus 3 over 1 least common denominator is a is 1 plus 24 is 25 over 8. Uh -huh. 25 over 8 is present in decimal is 3, 24 and remainder 1 is 1 over 8. It's like a 3, 1 over 8 is equivalent to say 3.125 because 1 over 8 you know is 0 0.125. Okay, the second example is to the graph we use in transformation again, but the function is different. If f of x is equal to 3 raised to the x plus 4 minus 3. Okay, let's solve this example. The basic is y equal 3 to the x. When the base is 3, the typical point R, 0, 0,1 is the universal point, 1,3, and negative 1, 1 over 3. And now we have horizontal shift, but a four unit to the left. Every point, every first component is decreasing 
minus 4, so subtracting 4. That's 1 minus 4 is negative 3. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. And 1, negative 1, minus 4 is negative 5. And you see that the second component stays the same because the logical is a horizontal motion. No? And finally, minus 3 gets down, vertical shift, minus 3. Look, minus 3 is down. Is down, so now the second component is y is decreasing minus 3, so says 3 minus 3 is 0, 1 minus 3 is negative 2, and uh, 1 over 3 minus uh, 3 is negative 2 thirds, it's like a negative 2.67. Uh -huh. Very important to say that the horizontal asymptote. Now it's no y equals zero anymore, so it is y equal negative three. Okay. Okay, now the example number three is do the graph using transformation for the function f of x is equal, but the base now is a fraction, one half raised to the x plus two minus five. Okay, let's solve this problem. Let me start for the basic. The basic is y equal one half to the x. Of course, it's exponential, but it's decreasing. So when it's decreasing, it's different. The typical point is the universal point 0, 0,1, but it is a negative 1, 0, 0,2, and positive 1, 1 half. Okay, now horizontal shift, x plus 2. x plus 2 is x plus 2 is to the left, 2 unit. So every, every, every first component, negative 1, is decreasing, so subtracting to negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3 and the second component stays the same, 2 0 minus 2 is negative 2 and 1 minus 2 is negative 1 and the horizontal as it does stay the same is y equals 0 is on the x-axis and finally very can choose minus 5 is down Okay, it's fine. Now, now the second component for the last transformation is the red. Now the next transformation is decreasing 5 units. The second component is 2 minus 5 is negative 3. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. And 0 0.5 minus 5 is negative 4.5. And of course, the horizontal uh, asymptote go down and the line is y equal negative 5. Okay, it's interesting to determine in detail the x and y in a set for the last score. So the x intercept is the point a negative 4.32 comma 0 and the y in a set is the point 0 comma negative 4.75. Let me see in detail how you determine. Okay, let's find them for example first y in a set is y in a set is doing x equals 0 uh -huh. this is y is equal 1 half raised to the 0 plus 2 minus 5 this is 1 half raised to the second power minus 5 1 half raised to the second power is 1 4 minus 5. Now, 1 4 minus y is minus 4.75. Uh, is the point then a 0 comma negative 4.75. Right, now, the, the x intercept is doing y equals 0. Y equals 0 is 0 here, 0 is equal 1 half x plus 2 minus 5. Let's try to solve for x. Because in this case, we have 1 half x plus 2 equal 5. So this is one uh, exponential equation exponential equation okay, it's not obvious to solve it it's, the only possibility to solve it is, is using 
logarithm function that we study in the next section. So this is the motivation for the next section. Now the answer I did is negative 4.32 0. Okay, number four example again doing the graphic using transformation, but the function is 1 over 3 fraction again raised to the x minus 5 plus 3. Okay, let's solve again graphically this problem. And we start for the basic. The basic is decreasing exponential. Typical point is universal point 0, 0,1, negative 1, 3, and positive 1 comma 1 over 3 because 0 0.3 repeated the transformation number 1 is raised to the x minus 5 case horizontal shift to the right uh -huh. so any component any first component is increasing plus 5 and negative 1 plus 5 is 4 0 plus 5 is 5 and 1 plus 5 is 6 and the horizontal asset stays the same at the line y equals 0. Okay, now finally, vertical shift plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3 here is vertical shift increasing the second component, plus 3, this is 4 plus 3, is 4 plus 4,6, sorry, 4,3 is 4,6, because 3 plus 3 is 6 and 1 plus 3 is 4 and 1 third plus 3 is 3 1 third is this and the horizontal asset is y equals 0 change to y equals 3 uh, in this case uh, it's a little bit uh, complicated to determine the the intercept but let's do it separately ok one more time we find y intercept okay, is doing x equals 0 this is y is equal 1 over 3 0 minus 5 plus 3 is equivalent to say 1 over 3 raised to the negative 5 uh, plus 3 uh, now negative exponent remember let's flip it so this is equivalent to say 3 to the fifth power plus 3 and 3 to the fifth power is 243 plus 3 is 246 and the y in set is the point y in set is the point uh, 0 comma 246 so you don't see clear in the graphic it's too high uh, let me try to investigate the 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 y the the x is y intercept x intercept so for finding uh, in the formula the formula is one over three x minus five plus three equal to zero so y is equal y is equal to zero for finding the x intercept. Mm -hmm. well, in this case is one third raised to the x minus 5 is equal to minus 3 and any exponential never is equal to negative number therefore this is no solution this is a contradiction so we have no we have no y and z